taking a screenshot. This video is going to demonstrate how to take a snip of a picture or document that is displaying on your computer monitor. This is a simple process that makes the picture or plans that are snipped straightforward to draw over and mark up. This is a good skill to learn and practice as it makes the process of marking up plans a lot easier. There are a number of ways this process can be undertaken. This is simply one that I've found to be the easiest and most efficient. The first step is to access the file you need to edit. Access your file manager to do this. When you receive a file or document from someone via email and choose to download it, the file will sit in your downloads folder. Here you can see three files that I've downloaded today. The files will sit in this folder in the order they were downloaded. This order can be shuffled by clicking the date modified tab here. We are going to focus on this isometric drawing for this video, so I'll click on this file to open. To find the snipping tool installed on your computer, search for it in the start menu or the magnifying glass search tool. Select the new option as shown here. Then highlight the area you want to take a picture of by using your left mouse button and dragging the highlighted section over the picture. The picture is then captured in the snipping program. You will need to move the picture into another program to commence editing. I use PowerPoint for this process for a number of reasons as discussed in the next video. To move this picture into PowerPoint, select the copy button as shown here. You can find the PowerPoint program using the same search process as before using either the start program or the magnifying tool. Create a blank slide by clicking on and then deleting these squares. Now right click your mouse and select the pasting option. Your plan is now ready to be marked up using the various drawing tools there in PowerPoint. By opening a new blank slide you can add a number of drawings into the same PowerPoint file. Snip and paste other pictures in the following in following the same process. Here the two plans are in one file as shown. Tune into the next video that will describe the process of how PowerPoint can be used to mark up drawings.